Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 88 of this Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. This is the March of the Vikings. In the last episode, we continued our advance into Russia. We did take a bunch of more territory over there. But then we were kind of stopped by the fact that there is a uh, pact forming against us. There are one or two small provinces that we could pick off, but that would unite pretty much everyone here against us. And I kind of want to let that die down a bit. We don't have that much threat. It won't take that long to go down. And I've just noticed that we have another target that we can actually go after, which would be far more suitable. And that is the tiny little province of Skorna here. They are independent. They do actually own Helra over here, Ostfriesland, which for some reason Denmark always goes for. I don't understand the Danish fascination with Ostfriesland. But anyway, they have that. But because it is de jure territory... Oh, in fact, this might be de jure. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Kingdom of Saxony, declare war. Not a holy war. De jure. Oh, those would just be for individual counties. So you know what? Yeah, we're going to go for a de jure war against Skorna. Which we're going to claim in the name of the King of Denmark to make him like me a bit more. And once we've won that, we can then do a de jure claim, uh, attack against them. And because this is not a holy war, we shouldn't have the threat of other Catholic nations joining against us. So that is what we're going to do. And there we go, Prince Mordred has adopted for feudalism. I don't know why it's not easier for me to do that, but apparently it's not. Right, so let's bring the retinue over here. That is a big arm. You have... Dang on. Two Knights Templar? Who are you fighting? Oh, of course you're fighting one of us. Well, I could drop... 24,000, no, 26,000 men on your head. You know what, I quite like that idea. We're going to do that. So we're going to send you back here. We're going to destroy the two order armies. It's going to be a hard fight. Don't get me wrong, it is going to be a hard fight, but we're going we're gonna to do that. I'm just moving a little bit further away. Okay, Skorna, we're going to declare war. We're going to do it for the King of Denmark go. Oh, we're not at war with the uh, Templar. In that case, King of Denmark, you can bloody well fight for your own holding. We'll send you in as well. And we'll have you holding ships and all that. Keeping an eye on those little dots to see if they change. My court physician, Colby Orn, has shared some of his latest ideas with me. I don't know much medicine, but maybe he's onto something. He has asked for some money to develop his theory further. Sure. Speaking of patronage, we should probably investigate improving the hospital at Gotland. At some point in the near future. Guess more of the disease reduction, like the soup kitchens. So let's drop off here. You spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but you were forced to return empty handed. It's my own failure. Right, right. Yeah, here. Their armies are indeed leaving. We're going to let you leave, and we're going to attack here. Oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. On the ships. Head over here. Fight them. Except I want to lead it. So I still want to try and get some more military experience here. If we can smack down the army of Scorn, which we can. Let's... Back on the ships. Oh, you're running way down that way. Okay, interesting. On the ships, you can jump up over here. Where we'll just leave you on Scorn. Okay, good. And we're going to siege you down. Meanwhile, Norway is over here. Fighting Ostfriesland. And I have groomed an heir because my son is now of age. We do indeed have an epidemic here. I don't particularly want to die, so I am in fact going to shut the gates. What is it that's spreading? Camp fever? Yeah. And it's always in that area, so I really do need to improve my hospital in Gotland. 
maybe even build another one over there. We seem to get diseases a fair amount. Cobion, your court physician, informs you that Good Mundur is suffering from the current epidemic. Having him stay with the rest of you inside these walls puts you at risk. Who is he? Good Mundur? Lowborn? Kick him out. So it looks like the Holy Orders are fighting Norway, but not us. Which is interesting. Ah! Protoslava has converted. Cool. Which means I can go into this view. I can... Oh no, you're still doing Torah pets. Okay, so never mind. You guys are still not fighting us for some reason. Torzok, tribe from... Hang on. I've inherited... Oh, okay, that's fine. That was just one of... That one? No. Oh. Wait, Prince Mordred inherited it. No. Um... Build a new holding and destroy the tribal saddle. Oh, I see. I need to destroy one of those and then get one of these. Gotcha! Um, that would take all of my income, though, so I'd rather not do that. Oh, it is literally just the tribe. Create random vassal and put them in charge. Thank you. Okay, people are leaving the Defensive Pact. That is precisely what I was hoping would happen. And we finished building a couple of the buildings that we were building. We may well need to go and take um, Ulster Salons as well. But we, can, we can start off with Scorner. The book has not received any notable attention, it's just... Oh, he's going to attack me across the... Oh no, he's running away. Bye. I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners. Oh. Speaking of prisoners, are they worth any money? Yay! Not much, but something. Sixty-five percent. Two more holdings to take. Meanwhile, the Templars and Norway are fighting on my territory, and Norway just won. Go Norway! Yes! Okay, so we've just built a couple more buildings. Let's take a quick look over here, see what else we can get. Stables, don't really see the point. Likewise, you're not even ours. Uh, keep, yes, that's a good idea. And we should then try and get some holdings over there. Hopefully these holdings have started upgrading. You haven't. You have, I think, and you definitely have. So we need to continue investing in the city guild halls and markets and stuff like that so that the uh, the lesser vassals under us have the money to improve things of their own accord rather than expecting me to do it. Ninety seven percent. One more holding and then I've won this war. Word of an epidemic. We've received news of a horrible ep Horrible epidemic in Mercia, part of Andalusia. As part of the rumours we thought were exaggerated, but ever since the disorderly arrival of inconsolable refugees at our gates, it has been difficult to ignore what is happening. They tell of various symptoms, and our courtiers in the area report seeing large buboes, people vomiting blood before dying, and others have extremities turned black, rotting off their bodies. Terror is spreading rapidly as the disease so far. There has been no mention of a cure, only mass graves. Is this the will of Odin? We're going to build a hospital. <laughs> uh, 10% disease resist. That's only 4%. It is expensive, but screw it. It's my health. <laughs> build me that hospital, quickly. Camp fever, slow fever. Crap, that's where my army is. 
Black Death, it's over there. And during the Black Death, you basically can't wage wars, because your armies just die. Like the rebels against us found when they tried it. So hopefully we can take Scorn and hopefully some of that land before Black Death hits us. There we go, Scorn has fallen. Let's demand what I wanted. There we go, Denmark has won. And you are now just Ostfriesland. And if the Danes really want it, they can get it themselves. Right, let's send the retinues home and have a look over here. Saxony. Why are these parts not counting in Saxony right now? Oh, wait, what? Is Saxony and Burgundy together? Oh, crap. Actually, not necessarily. I'm not doing a holy war because that would invite your neighbours. We just want... Which of these is richer? They're all pretty well developed actually. Uh, I would say... Actually, what's what's this one called? Best land at... We'll go for the Telemark. Talk to you, talk to your liege. Dig, how many troops can you raise? 10,000. Strangely enough, I'm okay with this. Because his troops would have to march through the disease-ridden area. Mine don't. So let's put you on a boat to go here. Defensive pact opposing Halil Kafiliad has disbanded. Price of decadence. The Kufayid Sultanate has been overthrown. Right, we're just going to do a small war. Just a little war. A little war. Oh, hang on, that's the Alden. Duchy of Vestino. Cassus Belly can be used by Falcon Mordred IV to press Hulf. Rolf Hjalmarsson's claim on the Duchy of Vestlandet. You know what? That is a better chance, a better option, because that gives me the entire duchy. Are you... Oh, you're not Norse. But you will be independent. Which will allow us to kick them out. We're playing more of the long game here. You're allied to the Petty Kingdom of Mercia, but I'm okay. Do it. Alright, let's do this. This time, we're going to raise the full force. Because I'm fully expecting them to actually oppose this attack. Well, obviously, but... we're in a position. Where they can't just sneak attack us. Keep going to the telemark, you group, split, split. And you, split. I'm just going to split you up a bit, just so we're not suffering such attrition. Because apparently attrition is bad. Send you over there. We should have enough men to just siege everything. And then we'll drop sh troops probably in Slesvig and go from there. <coughs> Once we have Vestlandet in hand. Oh, their troops are arriving already. Hi. Oh, I should send the ships over there. Life in seclusion isn't so bad. After finishing a hearty breakfast, you belch contentedly and remark upon your foresightedness in ensuring Gotland's guarders. Larders were well stocked. However, as soon as your words leave your lips, you notice the suddenly panicked look on your servant's face. My Falker, you just ate the very last pickled boar's head. You almost all of our other food stocks are nearing exhaustion. Furthermore, your servant continues to drone on, but you're too aghast to listen. No more pickled boar's heads? Um, well, the Black Death still hasn't arrived up here. It is spreading. We are in the middle of a very large slow fever. This Falker is really good, so I'd rather he didn't die.
My lord, it seems Krakow of Holland has finally decided to come out of hiding. You have searched Gotland from top to bottom, have yet come to realise that there really are no more pickled boar's heads. Not only that, but all other food stocks are nearing exhaustion. Your servant really should have mentioned that. Minor food shortage. We can last a minor food shortage. They're getting proud. Fine, I'll come out of hiding. And I'm going to fight in the war. Over here. Where are you going? I will chase you around if I need to. Gotland's rats seem to have found my meagre remaining food supplies. And have eaten what remained. Well, there is no more food. Uh, I propose that Gandalf and Morda marry. No. I need you to marry matrilineally. Are there any high rank people? No. Are there any geniuses? There is. What about quick? Alright, we'll marry the genius. He is to a Mensco, but this is matrilineal. So hopefully we take over. There's their army. Fighting against Slesvig. Okay, we caught their army. Let's go and squish them. Oh, except there's loads of disease over there. Um, we'll let them come through the disease-ridden areas. Okay, this area is now disease-ridden. Great. You have gathered your followers and your hunting dogs, and have saddled your horse and prepared your weapons. Good stuff. Right. I guess we need to call the banners and prepare to meet these guys in glorious battle. I'm not going to suffer so much attrition. Fruitlessly scouring the countryside, you come across a small cottage in the wilds. You knock, and an old crown opens. When she sees you and your hunting party, she cackles eerily and says that she has a powerful potion that will make you a stronger hunter, sure to catch any prey. Sell it to me. You drink the potion down. Soon you start to feel warm inside. The crone whispers, See, now that has made you stronger, I can see it in your eyes. Go now, great hunter. You return home, certain in the belief that the next time you will find your prey. I've become brave, which gives me even more martial. Huzzah! Right, I'm going to split you in half because I don't want you all dying. The Knights of Calatrava! The Order of Calatrava is the most recent addition to the Soldiers of the Cross, having just been endorsed in a recent decree issued by the Catholic Church. These knights take their name from the castle recovered in Iberia from the clutches of the Muslim infidel, and they stand ready to combat the heathens and defend the pious in the name of any Catholic ruler who is willing to provide for their upkeep. More order troops. Oh, right, no, They lost 2,000. Now we need to separate again, so we're going to send you up here where it's safe. We'll send you over there to go and relieve that. They do have another army incoming, though. And this area is not good. Massive slow fever outbreak. Right in the middle of this war. My armies are melting away. Oh, that's a big army. Let's slip away over here. Where's my ships? Let's go grab that up. In fact, this one is a bit closer. Let's go grab that up. Well, thankfully, disease-free. We'll just let these guys kind of sit in the diseased area. Enjoy yourselves! I'm sure you'll have fun. We're already at 61% victory. Jumping 
votes. I'm sending you. Okay, you're coming in with a lot of troops. So I'm going to have to stand by, ready to reinforce. Because you're probably going to come crashing onto us. Yes, you are. When you arrive. When do I arrive? There we go. Um, split. That's all of you. Actually, that siege has only just really begun. You go and assist there, and then as soon as that's fallen, which is now. Nope, not yet. Now, you go and assist. And we should massively outnumber them. Alright, so how's this battle going? We have the defensive bonus in the hills. They are attacking. They have lots more commanders than us. That is a problem. I need more commanders. Minor titles. Five commander slots available. Blimey. It would be nice if it told you when, like, a commander dies. Uh, do I want Mordred to be a commander? Dangerous. Yeah. I have matrilin matrilineal marriages, so it should be fine. Aymond, Olga, Odda, Bratislav, Frerik, Mordred. Victory is ours, and with it, total victory. Count Joffrey of Genevieve was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. I'll take that victory. They lose 100 prestige. Rolf Jarmusson gains the county and duchy of Vestlandet in Telemark. And it is in fact ours. Okay. Not entirely sure why we got the vassalage there, or why they became a vassal straight away, but they have. And who am I to complain? Maybe it's because we were the du jour king. Because it's in the Empire of Scandinavia. That could well be. Okay, good. Um, let's send the troops home before they all die of horrible diseases. We really didn't lose that much. My personal levies are growing. And let's go and hide you somewhere where you are not dying of disease. Well, up here. Meanwhile, is that hospital still being built? No, it's been built. And we are basically out of cash, so... Good. I think it's time that we sat back for a bit. New ambition. Build a war chest. I think that sounds like a fantastic idea. Slow fever is spreading. <laughs> we may have started something here. Sorry guys. My bad. <laughs> spreading faster than the Black Death is. After 100 years under the king, Kingdom of Norway, the Aldom of Jomtaland is no longer considered a jure part of the Kingdom of Svichard. Okay. My wife, Empress Linda, has asked me to get rid of one of my courtiers, whom she finds mighty annoying. On one hand, Linda will not be happy if I refuse her request, but if I fire the annoying man, maybe my wife has too much influence over my actions. Anslau for the Cruel is an amazing commander. Is he in fact my marshal? He is. Um, no. <laughs> Sharp pains in your abdomen, clutched oh crap. Right, of course. I need to make sure that I'm over there. Seek treatment for illness. I have the slow fever. Bugger. Please don't die. You're a rather good ruler. We're just going to sit back, let money recover. I'll be merciful because I'll probably sell you. Okay, Svanhilda is not one of my daughters. You are looking to me like a steward. I need level 5 legalism before I can get maximum centralization. Ah, I can change these though. 
I can make the church either pay me more money or raise me more ta uh, troops. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want. Oh wait, 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 what? What? No. Why is it showing the... Oh, right, because this falls under the kingdom of Ross. I, th I thought that was saying you're the king of uh, the Ross. I was like, what? How has that happened? No, it hasn't. It hasn't is how it's happened. Alright, so there are some minor claims that we could do. They're both just counties, though. Um, truces are expiring. Good. I'm just going to wait. Just wait. It's fine. And I would love to go raiding, but even they need to recover. Speaking of that, I could, in fact, get some more retinues. Which I think would be an excellent investment. King Onbjorn II of Nordariki has provided me proof that Mayor Sunni of Alaburg has been viciously slandering me. Uh, arrest him. Go pick up those two men. Take them away from the disease. Oh, it's no longer disease ridden. Never mind then. Let's go home. Yeah, it is indeed no longer disease ridden. It is leaving Scandinavia. Good. My courtiers are returning to work as well. You're getting me more levy reinforcement rate? Cool. In fact, I don't think I really need reinforcement right now. Attack would be nice. Uh, you're a bit shit. Can I replace you? Yes, I can. Although the replacements aren't very good. Currently in hiding, but you are now here in charge. Congratulations, you're my new steward. So I don't think I need loyalists or anything on the council anymore. In fact, I have no powerful vassals on the council at all. Here we go, it's back. Um, I would like you to continue collecting taxes here. Actually, I am rather short on money, and I would like that to be reversed. An offer the cruel has created the title of Yoldam of Sukhov. That's fine. He died. <laughs> Wait, did he leave? No, he just died. Created the title and then died. Oh no. He just left the title for some reason. Well, welcome back. Now, do some more research technology for me. Yol, an alpha. Why create the Kingdom of Estonia? I know it's a thing. No, oh, you're Dejour Kingdom of Ross. You're Dejour Kingdom of Finland. Interesting. Young Svanhilda seems to trust everyone, lacking any notion of the evil in men. She can only be herself. And with that, we are going to end this episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then please do consider subscribing as well. If you have any tips or advice for me, let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.